How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the 100% walkthrough for Lives of P. On the last episode, we took out the Black Rabbit Brotherhood and wrapped up the Malum District. Now we are continuing on to through Rosa Isabel Street and making our way towards the King of Puppets. So, obviously, we are facing a bunch of puppets in this area, so your electric coil is going to be very helpful here. Hopefully you have gotten it upgraded as far as it can go. It will help out immensely here. And as you can see, these puppets have a lot more HP and hit a lot harder. Taking three hits to complete with a three R1s to completely deplete their health. The electric coil that is plus six, I believe. Oh, who are you? Oh, my stalker friend. I was worried the puppets had come back. They're demons. They won't give us a moment's peace. Even an elderly lady like me. They wouldn't even let the dead rest if they had the petrification disease. Drives a lady to drink, it does. It, which reminds me, I could use a proper tipple. <laughs> there's a... there's a wine called La Blaiouille. When I was younger, they called it the Ruby of the Heavens. I'm sure there's still some left in the wine cellar at Lorenzini Arcade. You're an enterprising lad. Bring it to me, and I'll give you something nice in return. Uh, remember, Lorenzini Arcade. A wine cellar. La Play We. Ah, the movie of the heavens. That had hit the spot. A delight on the tongue. And a memory of bygone days. Uh, remember... That's a talent, lady. You're you're talking and coughing at the same time. It's the way that lady says uh, she, she wants a proper tipple. It, it, it I don't know. It makes me laugh every time. Okay. So we need to find her some labwe labwe we at the arcade. Good old Lorenzini Arcade. You will see there are quite a few horrors waiting for us there. Another urgent repair tool. Now this, uh, there's a door over here that will serve as a shortcut later on. Can't activate it quite yet. Right over here on the left. Grab that. Need those crescents, because we're gonna need to upgrade the fire dagger wall once we reach the arcade. The arcade is filled with uh, carcass enemies, so back to our fire weapon. That little artist doodle there. And we got some got some maids with some hidden weapons. The shortcut door over there and these guys careful they are suicide bomber puppets they hit you they hurt quite a bit so let's be wary of that so we got some set this uh Shortcut, we have some ranged enemies down there, but first, let's drop down here. Yeah, 
Okay. And we have these guys. More brawly guys. You can see these guys are pretty beefy as well. Taking a fully charged R2 and two R1s to take them out. Okay, so let's head up and we will unlock that shortcut I pointed out a minute ago. Building. Get a Legion plug so we can craft a, another Legion arm. Once we get back to the hotel. Okay, so we're gonna head down and there's gonna be uh, three, three of those made puppets down here. Normally they try and hit you with their uh, feather duster or whatever they have, but uh, seem to be hell bent on using their hidden weapons here. Okay. Some saw blades and whatnot. We're going to be using those in a minute here. Too fat. Couldn't fit through there. So these guys have rifles. And they like to try and hit you with the gun as well as... Ooh, and watch out for those guys. They like to throw little bombs at you three at a time. If you get close to, they have like a melee attack, so be wary of that. Okay, this guy's out. Got that guy. Now it's the. We gotta take out the three guys in the street there. So I would suggest some throwables for this, whatever you got. Uh, I don't want to waste my thermite. Might have to, though. Um, let's see. Cluster grenades are good. Use a couple of those. So these rifle guys, like, they have the tendency to roll out of the way if you go to attack as well, so just be wary of that. Okay, that should take care. Really? Oh, okay. There we go. Fire took care of him. Okay, gonna throw something else at you. I just recommend doing throwables here because honestly, with two guys that throw bombs and two guys that have rifles, like you're you trying to rush in there, you're gonna have a, a really bad time. Okay. Throwables again. All right. Let's rush in and try and get these guys. That guy. Run out of the way of those. Use the pillars if you need to. There we go. Okay. All right. That went pretty good. This is the dancer's sword. Curved sword blade. 
So looking at this, this is uh, C and D. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. Uh, C and B. So a good quality weapon. Uh, link recruit link retreating slash. So that's basically like blood ha bloodhound step from Elden Ring. Uh, you jump backwards and then you can use another fable to jump forward again and guard parry. Uh, so show off the moveset. It is a pretty nice sword. Got nice sweeping attacks and nice charge R2. That's just the regular R2. Um, that handle is actually really nice if you put it on the uh, bone cutting saw blade as well. Which I forgot to show off the moveset of this thing. So charge R2. So like I said before, the, the bramble curved sword blade or handle goes good on the, uh, the bone cutting saw blade or the dancer's sword. So one's going to give you a vertical move set and the other one's going to give you a, the dancer's handle is going to give you a horizontal move set, uh, which you're going to have a ton of range with the bone cutting saw blade if you do that. Um, I've tried out both. They're pretty nice, but um, depending on if you got open areas uh, or a corridor that you're fighting in, uh, you may have to adjust, you know, which handle you're using uh, based on the move set. You know, corridors you don't know, bounce off the walls and stuff like that. So, all right. So over here, we have a little mini boss. A She's right up there. I can hear your springs even if you try to hide them. Musicians have keen ears, you know. Would you like to sing for me like your friends? I have a feeling the sound of your cries will be especially sweet. Let's have an encore performance of pain for the red actress Adelina Corday. And she comes. I dedicate this performance to my sister Adelina. Let's get a opening backstab on her. All right, so this lady is extremely fast with her rapier, and she will, she will parry you. I like that. <laughs> so you got to be careful. Um, best thing to do here is obviously break her weapon and just move it and keep. Like circling around her, like I'm doing to the right. Um, you could do the left as well, but I don't know. I found that going right is a little bit better. Try and get the back step if you can. Like I said, the the main strat here is try and break that weapon, and uh, after that, you'll be pretty good. Just try and get back stabs and shots in when you can. I take a minute. I'm trying not to attack again because she's probably gonna parry me. There we go. So wait to wait to attack after that. Give her a nice charge R2. Yeah, I see. Which it's funny, like she's doing that a ton to me right now. Yeah, watch out for this. That's like super delayed. Um she didn't do that to me a ton, like, when I first fought her. I, uh, I think I... Eh, it might have taken me, a, taken me a few tries, but she actually really didn't do that to me. But now, it, like, this one, she, uh... She's deciding to do it every time I decide to attack, like, right there. So, yeah. You see the strat here, just keep circling around. Charge R2 once she gets up. Get that damage in where you can. There we go. Like I said, humans in this game, they leave themselves wide open to back steps. Oh. 
that. Nice little rush smash for you. Backstab. There we go. Goodbye. Okay. So we will we will actually meet Adelina Corday. Um, a couple episodes from now, I think. Depending how quickly we move through this. Learn the story of the two sisters there. Alright, so back here. Sneak back here and grab this. Little sneaky item there. Letter here. This area is kind of set up a little weird. Um, get this. Like this is a shortcut over here, but it's not that great of a shortcut. Butterfly over here. Take care of this guy. Another crescent. Which will come in handy. So yeah, this is all where the ranged guys were. So I don't feel like that's the greatest shortcut. That's right up here. We got another stargazer. And we got an NPC to talk to over here. Why don't we go back and level up? Try and get to that 25 vitality. Okay. Yep. I think we got enough now. There we go. Now it's up to plus six. I'll use my power to help. Yep. Oh, almost there. Twenty-four. And let me look at my defensive parts here. Ah, that one's a little bit better. Alright. Put that on. Okay. We'll get a we'll get a liner later that uh has increased uh stats across the board forget uh, exactly where it is but i know there's one that's uh that has better stats all across the board instead of just uh slash pierce whatever huh. you're to walking Julie about in a place here. like this you must be a stalker can i ask you a favor my wife's body lies on rosa isabel street there was a fire, and I couldn't reach her through the flames. I know she's gone, but I hate to think of her just lying there. Would you bring me her belongings? Then I'd have something to remember her by. <sighs> Thank you. Small kindnesses like this give me something to cling to. Her body is on Rosa Isabel Street. She used to look so beautiful in her black dress. I miss her so much. Every day is harder than the last. Please, bring me her belongings. 
Her body is on I miss her. Okay. So we got a quest from him. That is a shortcut we'll open up later. Okay, so going into the belly of the beast, if you will. Got a couple couple sewer drains to kill uh, to clear out here. Okay. These uh trolley puppets down here. Okay. One charged R2. Taking them out, so that's pretty nice. They do uh they do have stuff they can throw at you too, so just be aware of that. Do actually hurt more than they really should. Honestly. Yeah. See? Through some happy. Whatever that might have been. Okay. So up here. That will go top side, but we before we do that, you're going to take this other path which drops you down. Then we can unlock that door that's right by the white ladies um, arena. A little shortcut. So you can try and descend attack that guy. This guy. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Love that running R2 stuff. So running overhead smash. So we got guys drawn on the roof of the uh, the top of the drain there too. So just be wary. Let them come over to us. One down. Thought the one in the back was gonna throw something, but I guess not. Okay, they came out. Behind me? No. It's just this guy. Making all that racket. I think you were. Now we got another one of our friends that likes to throw punches. One of these guys. Luckily, the, this guy isn't the one with the wheel on his back. I feel like those guys are more dangerous. Got a chest, but two crawly guys are gonna drop down here. Okay. And I believe ports here. Yes, indeed. Okay. So, if you guys remember, I told uh, I told you guys to hold on to that Trinity key that we got in the um, couple episodes ago in the Malum District. Uh, we will be coming up on a Trinity door probably one or two episodes from now. Um, and like I said, you want to save that because in that trinity room is going to be a another quartz um so phase three of the p organ uh to activate that uh, additional pulse cell um upgrade we need uh we need three quartz so by the time we get there open that trinity room we will have uh three quartz to do that so that is the plan Going into the next boss fight with an additional pulse cell will help out tremendously. 
Alright, so going back down here now and taking that other branching path that I said we'll come back to. Cleared the pipe, but there is a uh, there's an enemy up here. Another one of those kind of stronger puppets that take takes a lot to uh, take down. Uh, and these guys have like a 10 hit combo, so got to be careful. Yep, here it goes. Watch out for that red attack, too. I always have problems with that. Goodbye. Nice. Okay. Make easy work of that one. That's one of the suicide bombers. If you hit them before they, uh, they ignite themselves, you should be good. So... Cleaning ladies. Damn. They are going all out on their hidden weapon and not using their uh, duster at all. Ooh, just broke her weapon. Nice. Okay. And this is the shortcut right by Julian the Gentleman. So we will grab that real quick. Back to the hotel yet again. And switch this to Fulminus. And forgot that we have a couple Legion plugs here, so I'm gonna get Aegis. So you guys can get whatever you want. Um, I don't think, uh, you know, it's as far as the Legion arm goes, it's whatever you guys feel comfortable with. Um, obviously, you might not be doing the same build as me. I'm going advanced, so I'm gonna be focusing on the uh, Flamberge, uh, Fulminus, and uh, I may max out the Puppet Strength in this playthrough as well. I didn't do it in my other playthrough, but I hear it's really good. Uh, completely maxed out. I did want to, I did want to do that in my first playthrough, but I never got a chance to because um, ran out of uh, Legion calipers. So, like I said, there is there's only a set amount of them in the game. But I think that is going to do it for this episode, guys. We have opened up the shortcut, and we will continue through Rosa Isabel Street. The next one, I think, is a good stopping point. So hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you're doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you.